Greetings and welcome to my channel. You have probably been searching for the ways to prepare subtitles for your videos faster. So that's why this video is for. Just today I have been editing subtitles for one of the videos of the company I work for and my co-worker wants to help but has no editing experience for YouTube subtitles. So I decided that I can teach him or I can uh, make a YouTube video and explain all my experience and all the tips and tricks for all of you. This video will consist from eight parts. Uh, the edit flow, keyboard shortcuts, mouse controls, correct formatting, zoom in, zoom out, working with the waveform, subtitles length and structure, and of course grammar check. First we will start with the, my old video how to Activate game CD keys. Um, it has quite a lot of views, but I never did actually make subtitles for it. Okay, let's go to the subtitles. It is automatically generated. And here we have the editor. First, we need to click edit, of course. And here we have the main titles editing window. But the first thing is the edit flow. I suggest you always, always do everything on the left sidebar. If you click on the subtitle box on the left, it will always put your time tracker at the beginning of the subtitle box. So for example, if I want to, let's say, edit this part, I'll change, let's say, the H letter, then I'll go, let's say, here, so I don't have to like manually uh, work with this and push it here and here because reading on the right side there are two problems you won't see the full text because sometimes the subtitle is shorter and you just don't see what is written here and in here you can see all the text that's inside the the box for subtitles next the most important thing is keyboard shortcuts it's located here in the top you can read them basically all of them requires you to hold the, the shift key as you can see, I have muted uh, the sound for the video because um, we don't want to extra sounds when I'm explaining things to you. Basically, if you want to track what is on the screen, find the correct location, of course, listen to the voice and you just start and stop everything while holding shift plus space. Okay, next, if you want to go back, you keep holding the shift and you press on the left arrow key or right arrow key to move the playhead for one second. Next, let's say I need to edit this. So instead of like clicking with the mouse, you just can start typing immediately. And as you can see on the left, it gets edited. The next cool thing is you can move on the left side between different sections. Just um, hold shift and press the down arrow key or up if you want to go up. Next, um, a few tricks with the keyboard and text selection. Very often, YouTube places the subtitles um, in the wrong box. So you, let's say I want to move the CD key you can to the next box. So I could select this with my mouse or there's an alternative. Let's say I'm at the beginning of the box and I'm holding control and I can actually move to the next word I want. And uh, you can actually move to the back of all this. Just uh, hold uh, control, move down, left, down. And once again, you can move between the rows like this. Up, down, up, down. I'm here. And then press down and I'm here. Up. So let's say we want to move CDQ can to the next subtitle section. We now hold Control Shift and press right arrow and we can select the text. Control Cut and now let's move to the, let's hold Shift bottom and let's move to the next section and paste all the subtitles here. Of course, this is incorrect, but just demonstration. And again, we can move between boxes and we can restore what we've done hold control shift and uh, click the right arrow to select and then click control cut and hold shift up to move to the next box mouse controls is the next chapter when editing keyboard shortcuts are just not enough 
of course you're gonna use a mouse for editing. Since you can adjust the timeline, drag these boxes around with the mouse, of course, because the because adjusting timestamps here is just not good enough, not fast enough. The best trick with the mouse is double tapping and the playhead just jumps where you want it. Basically, click on the left panel to select the box you want for fast navigation and double click where you want your playhead to go. And then you can use all the tricks to the keyboard shortcuts. So it's a combination of things. Use that and this to make the most effective edit you can. Another thing you can scrub with the mouse while holding here. I don't use this often because you accidentally might move the box out of the way. Useful, but not that much. And basically that's it, what you can do with the mouse. Correct formatting. For some reason, YouTube most of the time can't tell where the sentence ends and when the new sentence begins. So here you will be spending most of your time adjusting subtitle boxes to match the sentences. We have an example right here. The sentence doesn't start from the capital letter. There is nothing, no commas, no ending. It's just continuous nonsense. As mentioned previously, the main task is to divide subtitles in the sentences. Another thing, if you have any cuts or transitions, you must match that the subtitles disappear before the transition or the cut. You have a new section of subtitles after it. And once again, sentences must start with capital letters and end with dots or something else what is appropriate. Another tip is uh, do not edit the words out of the text. It might give some cute context or something like that. You can learn more about subtitles in BBC Subtitles Guidelines. You'll find the link in the description. Next, zooming in and zooming out. At the bottom in the corner right here, you have this little slider that lets you zoom in and zoom out. The default is max zoom in. If you wish, you can make these smaller, but I just generally edit between this option and this option. If you want to quickly to navigate, of course, you just zoom out and you can find the section you were editing previously. This is a short uh, one minute, 45 seconds video, so it's not that bad. If, but if your video is like 10 minutes, you will find this really useful. Another sm small tip, you can actually use the browser scale to increase uh, the text size. Hold a uh, control key uh, and use your mouse scroll wheel to go up or down. The same can be accomplished with the keypad plus or minus. Moving to the next part. Working with the waveform. Of course, you have probably noticed you have sound. These will be higher. If you don't have any sound, then there is a gap between these. So simple, use it. It really helps to adjust where your subtitles begin when they end. Subtitles length and structure. This is basically the idea that you shouldn't make the subtitles too long. Ideally, you should just leave one uh, line of text. It's easier to, to read, especially if you're watching it on mobile and your screen is small because it will cover the footage. Um, because you can see that it doesn't look good. Try to leave it as one line. And if you must do it like two lines, Another small trick is you can actually put the words into the next line with shift plus enter and the text will get formatted like this. And always check if there is no extra space at the end of the line. It makes the formatting more clean. So do not leave uh, extra gaps and extra rows. And as previously mentioned, only the spoken text must stay on the screen. Do not leave too much text on the screen all the time. The last step is using Grammarly to check if there is no mistakes in the text. It simply helps to check if your subtitles do not have any errors or maybe you need some commas somewhere. While you're typing, you get this dot in the right corner and if everything is okay, it's, it's green. Sometimes it gives you some extra information you don't need. So it's just an optional thing. I like it and it helps if I miss something in the text. So that's it. And I hope you have um, learned something useful. 
and you'll be more proficient at editing uh, YouTube subtitles. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment. And of course, you'll find the link to the article about this video, all the commands, tips, everything will be included in, in that article. If this video actually helped you to achieve something, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel.